These faceless YouTube channels are making between $1,000 to $20,000 every month using shorts. They also use a lot of stock-free images and reused content. This made me wonder, can I create a faceless YouTube shorts channel with the help of AI, for free? How hard could it be? In this video, I will use ChatGPT, Play.ht, Canva, and Vid.io to make this happen. We will go through the process of creating a YouTube channel using AI, step by step. So watch until the end, because every step is important towards creating your own YouTube channel. And the best thing, you can do it for free. So you can create your own faceless YouTube channel and start earning some serious dough. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What? First thing we will do is go to ChatGPT and thank it for its service. This part is very important for when AI takes over the world and enslaves humanity. Who knows, maybe you will be spared. After a nice chat we will ask ChatGPT if it can come up with different YouTube niches. After some back and forth, ChatGPT found one that was perfect for me. The facts and trivia niche. Remember that as long as you are not satisfied, you can keep spamming. Try again until ChatGPT finds the right one for you. Next, ask ChatGPT to come up with YouTube channel names. Not satisfied? Ask ChatGPT to try again, or use it as inspiration for your own channel name. Then we will ask ChatGPT for a description for a YouTube channel that is about facts and trivia. Use it and tweak it to your liking, or if you are lazy like me, ask ChatGPT to try again or make it longer or shorter. Now we have the base set up for a YouTube channel, you can now use Midjourney or Leonardo.ai to create your profile picture and banner. I used Canva, since I wanted to keep things simple for now. If you guys want a tutorial on how to use Midjourney, Leonardo.ai or have any other questions on how to make things using AI, leave a comment down below and I will answer them as soon as possible or make a video about it. Next we will ask ChatGPT to generate some facts. You can ask ChatGPT for any type of facts and trivia but I'd like to niche down on peculiar facts. Choose one of the facts that ChatGPT generates, in this case I chose for the oldest recipe. Now ask it to write 30 to 50 words about that specific fact. So let ChatGPT do the script writing essentially. Why only 30 to 50 words? Because it generates voice for about 15 to 25 seconds, which I find a sweet spot for creating YouTube shorts and they remain a high retention rate. When ChatGPT hands us our script we will go to our next step. Go to play.ht. If you already have an account, log in, otherwise try for free. Either creating a new one or use your Google account. Play.ht uses several different voices and accents, you get 5,000 free words every month, which is quite a lot. I have currently created 27 videos on my channel and I still have 3,000 words left. So yes. Also, I am currently still on the free plan of Play.ht. Now that we have an account, click Create Audio and use Ultra Realistic Voice. Use the script that ChatGPT gave you and put it in Play.ht. Choose the voice and accent that you like and you think suits your video best. For my video, I chose Lance. Just listen why. In today's video, we're going to explain how you can book reschedule or cancel appointments on our new app. What a beautiful narrative voice and sophisticated British accent. If Lance had a face I'd reckon he looked like Giga Chad. Okay, enough drooling over Lance, let's continue. Paste the script and click on generate. This can take a few seconds. Not happy about the sample? Try again, because every sample is different. Or play around with interpunction to create pauses where you want them for your video. When you are satisfied with a generated sample, download it and we are ready for our next step. Go to Canva. You can use Canva's free plan, or use its paid plan, which costs 12 euro per month. I started with the free plan, but switched to the paid plan since you do have a lot more options with it, including Canva's unlimited library which saves me time with creating the videos. But I promised at the start of the video that you could do it for free. And the best thing, you can do it for free. So, you can also use Pexels for your visual content, 
which uses stock-free images and remain on Canvas free plan. Next thing we will do is put in our recorded audio from Play.ht and line it up with Start Video. And here our own work begins, start looking for visuals that you think are a good fit for your video. Make sure that every visual lines up perfectly with what is said in the video and for the longer visuals, try to keep them under 5 seconds. Why under 5 seconds? Since the average attention span of someone who is watching YouTube shorts is very short, so you have to keep switching visuals to keep the attention of your target audience. Now, let's finish the project. When we are finished with our visuals, we download our newly created video. There is only one part missing, which is a major factor in YouTube Shorts. Subtitles Go to v.io and log in if you already have an account or sign up. For subtitles I like to use v.io due to its simplicity. We just drag in our newly created video, go to subtitles, and auto-generate. Now you have subtitles for your video. I like to put them a little higher since the account name and title of the video are already in the bottom of the screen on YouTube. The only thing left to do is check it and export it. The end result. The oldest known recipe is a beer recipe from ancient Mesopotamia, dating back to around 1800 BC. The recipe was inscribed on a clay tablet and included instructions on fermenting barley, malt, and water. It reveals the rich history and cultural significance of beer, showcasing the long-standing tradition of brewing that has endured for millennia. Nice. Only thing left to do is ask ChatGPT to give a nice title, add some music and post it on YouTube. So there you have it, using ChatGPT, Play.ht, Canva and V.io, you can create amazing looking videos. I will keep you guys up to date on how my AI-based channel is doing. When we hit the 30-day mark, I will show the full YouTube analysis report. Simultaneously, I am running a non-AI-based channel alongside to see which performs better and I will keep you up to date on that as well. Want to learn more on how to use AI to make your life easier? Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye, have a great time.